Hi, my name is Scott Regenbogen. I'm a colorectal surgeon at the University of Michigan. Welcome to the IBD School 400 series. In this video, IBD School 403, we will be discussing subtotal colectomy. A subtotal colectomy is a surgical procedure in which nearly the entire colon is removed. In a total proctocolectomy, which we'll discuss in IBD School 404, the entire colon and rectum are removed. In subtotal colectomy, the rectum is left in place typically as a temporary situation, with plans to remove the rectum later in a second operation. For patients who are not yet ready to undergo complete removal of the colon and rectum, we often first perform the subtotal colectomy operation in which we remove the colon, leave the rectum, and make a temporary ileostomy, where the end of the small intestine is brought to the skin to drain to a bag. Patients who may not be ready to have their entire colon and rectum removed include patients who are interested in J-pouch reconstruction in the future but who are currently too sick to undergo J-pouch surgery, either because they are on high-dose steroids or they're sick enough to already be in the hospital. Also, patients whose diagnosis may be unclear, patients who may be worried that they have Crohn's disease, or patients who have not yet decided whether to complete their surgical treatment with a J-pouch or a permanent ileostomy. We often perform subtotal colectomy as the first of three steps to getting towards a J-pouch for someone who is too sick with ulcerative colitis to get the J-pouch constructed right away. In this case, we remove the colon and leave the rectum closed off, making a temporary ileostomy. This allows us to come back later, remove the rectum, and make a J-pouch when the patient is healthier and their likelihood of successful healing is greater. A subtotal colectomy will relieve the symptoms of colitis, even though an inflamed rectum remains in the body. Most people's symptoms from the rectum will be minimal because stool has been redirected and there is no stool going through the rectum. If there are patients who experience cramps, bleeding, or drainage from the remaining rectum, this can often be treated with suppositories or enemas administered through the anus. Sometimes the closed off stump of the rectum, if severely inflamed, can be at risk for leakage after surgery. So in patients with severe inflammation of the rectum, the closed end of the rectum may be brought up to the skin so that if it does open up, this doesn't happen inside the body. A subtotal colectomy is a three to four hour operation in some patients, it can be done laparoscopically using a small incisions and a fiber optic camera. In other situations, it can only be done safely through a traditional open incision. Potential complications of the operation include bleeding or infection at the site of the wound from surgery, injury to other organs like the small intestine, and a leak from the closed off end of the rectum. In the case of a rectal stump leak, we often try to reduce the severity of the complication by bringing the closed end of the rectum under the skin in the highest risk patients. Another common complication of surgery is ileus, or slow return of normal intestinal function. Obstruction or blockage of the intestine can be a long-term complication of abdominal surgery. This can happen during the hospital stay, or it can happen after the discharge from the hospital, prompting a return to the hospital. Ileus generally resolves on its own, although it's hard to predict how long this process might take. After subtotal colectomy, a patient will have the option of removing the rectum and making their ileostomy permanent, or returning to have the rectum removed and a J-pouch constructed. These are discussed in greater detail in IBD school videos 414 and 417. After subtotal colectomy, a typical hospital stay would be about four to seven days if recovery goes well. After surgery, patients will have a low residue diet, which includes most normal foods, excluding those that go through the intestinal tract with minimal digestion, such as raw green vegetables, fruit with thick skins or fibers, after surgery, most patients will have three to four weeks of light, limited activity, including walking around and climbing stairs, but nothing particularly strenuous. It will then take about six to eight weeks for patients to completely recover their full strength and be back to full activities and work. Subtotal colectomy is a useful procedure to alleviate symptoms of ulcerative colitis and be a useful first step in the process of surgery for a J-pouch construction. Please watch our other videos in the 400 series about J-pouches and other surgical procedures for ulcerative colitis. I'm Scott Regenbogen, and thank you for watching IBD School.